Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to review the voice theme by Max, which is one of my favorite premium themes for WordPress. I've used this one before, and currently I'm running it on ChrisTutorials.me, the latest version of the website for this channel. Um, and as you can see, it's set up to be something of a cross between a news or article website and a blog. I think it can work pretty well for both, but it's advertised as news magazine style websites. Um, so on the front page, you can see these different sections that I have uh, added without a page builder. Um, in voice, instead of using a page builder directly, they instead give you the option to um, basically set your page up as a module template. And in those module templates, you add in certain sections like um, categories of posts, where you see WordPress and YouTube down here, the most popular, um, uh, let's see, most popular articles lately, which actually is determined by the number of views that your posts get, because the voice theme can actually track the number of views that each of your posts get, which is really interesting. I, I think coming from a YouTube background, that's kind of a cool thing to have. It feels familiar. Um, and up here at the top, the latest articles, of course, that's one that pretty much everybody is going to want somewhere on their site. So um, the voice theme, it doesn't actually have a built-in page builder, as far as I know. Instead, when you choose the modules template, uh, the page template, you get these sections to appear down here, um, namely modules down here. And that kind of fills the need of the page builder but maybe doesn't have as many uh, extra functions as the page, like a classic page builder would actually have. That said, um, it would be very easy to go out and grab a external plugin, a third party plugin for the page builder functionality if you still want that kind of thing. So I don't really think you're losing out on too much there personally. Now another thing I really do like about the theme is color coded categories. So for each post category you set up. You can also assign a color with that. You can see here that not only on this sidebar widget does it display the colors with the colored bar, um, but also on each of the posts it's going to color code the name of that category and I think that really helps for making those uh, categories more visible, making it more clear what you're looking at when you look at it. So you compare these two posts and even without really reading you see that they both have the same blue color so you know they're both from the resources category. Now obviously so far on my site I'm not using all of the functions inside of voice. There's uh, extra plugins that are built into the theme such as the Next Easy Ads widget um, which can help get you set up with advertisements on your site if that's something you want to be running Google Ads or that kind of thing. So in the modern age, most sites out there are really big on promoting their social media pages and having a presence on most of the big networks like Facebook and Twitter. And this is a tool that can help you out if that's something you're interested in. So by setting up a bunch of different social profile links, you can basically make a grid sort of like down here for this uh, top WordPress themes widget I set up, uh, which is actually the theme for smart widget, by the way. It's a lot like this. You would have an icon for Facebook, an icon for Twitter, an icon for Google+, so on and so forth. And then you can position that possibly up there on the sidebar where people can see all of your social networks right there in a square. And it does look really nice. I don't currently have it set up because the only social media I personally care that much about is YouTube. Um, obvious reasons. But if you like that kind of grid display of your social icons, that's a nice plugin that's included in the set. So let's go ahead and show opening up a blog post here, or an article, whatever you want to call it. So you can see it's got some nice animations when you hover over it. Um, we'll go to the page. Now, I think the theme does work best when you do have a featured image for each of your posts. It shows up on the front page whenever you're displaying um, basically like a post preview. It tends to have a space available for the image as well. Um, and then it will show your gravatar over here and your content down below. I do really like how the content is displayed. I think that the font and overall design of it is quite nice, easy to read. And then down at the bottom you have the tags, which already set up with the hashtag. Most themes wouldn't use the hashtag, they just kind of have the link. 
Uh, but maybe that's a little bit more of a relevant way to look at tags given the craze of Twitter and Facebook and all the social medias are really using hashtags at this point in time. And then down at the bottom, um, you have default social share op options. So you want to share this post if you're a user on your site. You click at one of these links on the bottom. Uh, I would imagine you can also set that up at the top if you want to, but you don't really need a external plugin for social media shares because it's taken care of on your sidebar and it's taken care of when you post it themselves. So uh, that actually helps reduce the amount of setup time. And then at the bottom of every post, you have the about the author. Um, this is set up inside of the WordPress admin, the Gravatar, and links to social media profiles. You can see here I got a YouTube over here and a uh, link back to this site. So that's going to be it for my initial review of the voice theme by Max. I do think this is a really solid WordPress theme if you're out there writing articles or if you have a news-based organization. It's clean, it runs well, and the plugins that support it uh, help add good, useful functionality without really bogging down the site. That's a problem with some of the most uh, popular themes, in my opinion. They just have too many features that you don't even know where to start. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to check the theme out, I'll have a link in the description, and I'll see you in my future content.